How to Start Writing a Book The more you teach positive ideas to others, the better you learn them yourself. Brian Tracy Have you ever thought about writing a book? Whether it be for growing your business, creating credibility for yourself, or for pleasure, nearly everyone has thought about becoming an author at one point or another. If you've ever dreamed of becoming a published author, you're not alone. According to writer Joseph Epstein, 81% of Americans feel that they have a book in them and should write it. Brian Tracy has published over 80 books throughout his career and truly believes that everyone should write a book. One of the biggest challenges when it comes to writing is not knowing where to start. When you are writing a book for the first time, it's crucial that you simply begin by setting ink to paper. Many would-be authors get bogged down thinking they need to have the entire book planned out, all the chapters outlined and all the questions answered, before they ever begin to write. The ancient Chinese philosopher famously said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. In few instances is this piece of wisdom more true when you are figuring out how to start writing a book. The best way to start writing a book is to simply start. Write the first sentence, then the first paragraph, then the first page. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you may very well end up changing it later. But getting even the first page written allows you to make it further than most ever do. You will have begun writing a book. Once you've started writing, you can begin planning and outlining your piece. No matter how you begin, the important part when figuring out how to write a good book is to take it one step at a time. Build your outline piece by piece, write your book page by page, and eventually you'll have it finished. Assuming you do decide to create an outline for your book, which is recommended, especially for first-time authors, you're going to need a template to start with. The good news is that there are book design templates available, which can give you an invaluable head start in creating an outline, including the book writing template to the top right of the screen. These templates provide you with a skeleton that can be fleshed out into a book which can be incredibly valuable, especially when you are first starting out. As a published author of over 80 books, a question that Brian would often hear is, how do you write a book multiple times each year? To be honest, the answer is always the same. Brian follows the same guide and process every time. Once you've started putting pencil to paper, here are a few of Brian Tracy's best writing tips to speed up the process. First, read books in the genre you're writing. One of the best ways to develop your writing skills is to read the works of successful authors who have already published books similar to the one you are writing. If you immerse yourself in these books, you'll subconsciously borrow from the style of the author you are reading. Assuming they are talented, successful writers, this is almost always a good thing. Write feverishly. Edit meticulously. When you first start writing a new page or a new chapter, it should come as an uninterrupted flow of conscience. Don't worry about how good it sounds or how many mistakes there are. Simply write. Write feverishly until that page or chapter or whatever section you are working on is done. This is also a good way to combat writer's block. Later, you can go back and carefully edit your work, pruning away unnecessary content, polishing your writing, and weeding out mistakes. In the beginning, though, it's getting your thoughts onto paper that is the most important. Consider taking writing classes or a book writing program. Few things will help you better fast-track your writing skills than taking one or more quality writing courses. Thankfully, there is no shortage of these courses available for you to choose from, including Brian Tracy's very own How to Write a Book and Become a Published Author course. Finally, spend extra time working on your book title. You should assume 80% of people will read your headline, while only 20% will end up reading it. That means you should spend extra time working on an emotional and impactful title. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to the bestsellers list. Now we'd love to hear from you. So my question today is, have you ever thought about writing a book? What's stopping you? Leave a comment below and we'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching. And as Brian says, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable, subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.